Well, good morning. Here we are in beautiful February in Louisiana. It's, uh, I think it's about 65 out here. It's beautiful weather. I don't mean to pick on you. Wherever you are, I'm sure it's beautiful there too. It's just super nice right here today. Um, today I'm going to do a video on installing a, uh, a dash cam in my truck. I drive about 70 miles a day at least and there's a lot of less than proficient drivers out there so I'd like to have a little bit of hard uh, data if I ever have to dispute an accident. So anyways that's what we're going to be doing today and if you find that somewhat interesting please stick around. So the dash camera that I bought, it has two cameras. It has a front and a rear camera. Um, it was on Amazon, I'll put the link below, but uh, it's it had pretty decent reviews. And it's an eight man, which seems sort of ridiculous, but a C860 dash camera with uh, 1440p front view and 1080 rear view. So, um, it seems like it would be uh, what I was looking for. And I have not opened it, even though that was out of place there. Um, it says G-sensor protection, motion detection, parking monitor, uh, detects sudden movements and freezes footage. Um, and again, there's the part number. So the display screen is three inches, um, 170 degree wide angle. And it says memory card, class 10 micro SD card. So I think I have one somewhere, so I have to get that once I install it. But uh, let's open this up. So opening it up, it came from Amazon. It was packed fine. It, you know, it says, we hope you are satisfied with your products and share your experience with your friends. If you have any questions, here's where we are. So it says, hello. They're thanking me for choosing them and for the support for wherever you are. So there we go. And there's the user manual, which is rather sick, thick. It says, thank you so much for your purchase. We carry a, oh, if I get a, hmm. so if I share it, then it will give me a free micro SD card. Oh, steps to get gift. Write your shopping experience. E email us with your order number and customer experience link and tell us which gift. So there we go. I get something and I'm not even doing anything. So there's the main camera. Nicely packed. Nicely protected. Uh, screen. Buttons. Suction mount. This is really... Sort of nice uh, packaging. So there's a suction mount. And rear camera. Let, I'm more interested in the rear camera. I've had a um, dash cam before, but it was just the front, and the front one had the rear camera. So you got a lot of the people sitting in the back seat too, rather than just whatever the traffic was doing. So there is. Oh, it's like a permanent stick to the rear window kind of thing with a so it must be hardwired there we go so oh okay I see yeah you put it on there and then you can aim it correctly well that's interesting well shit okay so there we go front and rear and suction cup and then I guess these are all the wires so it looks like everything is here. It's packaged nicely. They thank me for buying it. And then they offer me a prize if I review it. So I'm reviewing it. And so hopefully I get a prize. So anyways, um, let me read the instructions and we'll start installing. Okay, after reading the instructions, I open the box. This is the cord to go. This is the cord that goes back to the rear camera. 
this is i think so you can download the information onto your camera or your computer um here's an extra sticky pad for the rear computer they call this a crowbar but that's to help uh put the uh cables behind trim so uh it's not quite as ugly and then of course you have the charger all right i think the first thing i'm gonna do is try to figure out where to place the cameras and then once i have that done i will uh try to run the cables with uh them not being too uh too much of an interference for the whole the whole kit and caboodle so first thing is assembling is putting my suction cup onto the camera and seeing if they're yep they got a little bit of protective stuff on there so we'll take that off and next step is I'm trying to put it where it's not in the way of my view and this looks like a lovely spot and we'll see uh that's Gotta adjust it a little bit. There we go. There we go. It looks like it's, for the most part, right in the middle. Tighten it back down. So there's one. Um, it says to definitely use the charger that it comes with. And um, I will do that. And it also says you can run it around the top and all that to keep it out of your vision. But um, I think I am just going to run it. Uh, let's see if you can see that. It's okay. So it's up there. I'm going to run it to that outlet right there. So that's the way I'm going to run it. And I'm not going to run it all the way around. I'm just going to run it down there. And then we can go from there. Now, the charge is up on the top. So I'm going to take this back off, if I can, and plug it in. And they have USB, and it's, it's very fine, small print. And so it's USB on this one, which is a charger, and then this one is a rear camera. So I am going to plug in the USB. And while I have it down, I am also going to plug in the rear camera. And we'll see how that works out for me. Ooh, it's got some cool uh, Velcro. But that way I can mount the camera back up and we'll go from there. All right, so. Glad I took it down because I don't think I could have gotten it in there the way I did with it being that close to the uh, to the window. If you can tell, there's, it's very close. So, um, so we have that there, and uh, that way I'll just plug it right in there, and it's out of the way. Oh look, it came on. As soon as I plugged it in. So I am going to unplug it. Ooh, and look at it comes with a, I don't know if you can see that. So it has got an extra charger in the port. So you can run that and your passengers got something to charge their phone with, which is interesting. So I'm going to unplug it for right now. But now we know where we're going to plug it in. All right. I am going to turn this off and try and figure out a route for the rear camera to uh, have as small of an impact as possible within the vehicle. So here we go. All right, I think I have a plan. I am going to run the cable up along the headliner, come around the corner, 
go beneath the um, the trim of the the gasket for the door, and then just leave it out. I'll I'll try and tuck it into that right there, and then run along, and then just come out right at the back, go up to the headliner again, and then go to the center. So we'll see how it works out. But that's that's the route I'm going to try. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all that. If I get it done, you'll get to see it. If I change my mind, I'll get on here and tell you why I'm changing my mind. But uh, I think that is the way I plan on doing it this time. So here we go. So I've gotten part way. So I stuck it and went straight up from the camera up here into the headliner. You can't see it. Then I tucked it behind this A pillar cover and then I got it down into here. So I'm gonna run it the rest of the way across here behind this B pillar cover the, and then the seal into the back. So I'll show you when I get done. I decided to show you this because this little crowbar tool is working great as far as stuffing it into the areas it needs to be stuffed into. So, uh, it is spectacular. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put all the extra, but at least it's, uh, it's not gonna be in the way of anybody sitting in the car, so. And you just, Use a crowbar and so you can tell this is pretty damn simple. Okay, so I got to the corner here. I'm gonna use the tool that came with the kit. Just put the wire up there, put the crowbar underneath, and then you can push it down in there. And that might be where I'm gonna hide, lose all the uh, the excess. So there you go. That tool, that tool is pretty damn cool. So I have it run. Um, I thought of something before I stuck it down. I want to make sure which side is up and which side's down. So um, I'm gonna turn it on, see which is up and which is down, and then. Like I said, I'm gonna probably hide all the excess wire up in the headliner. So let me check and make sure I'm not putting the rear camera in upside down. Well, I've got it upside down. So that was a good thing that I checked. The front's fine. The rear is upside down. So I gotta make sure that I flip it around. So good thing I checked. All right, I have it installed and, oh, I pulled it tight over there. I gotta go fix that piece right there, but the camera's installed and uh, I just gotta tuck that up because I was trying to hide all the extra cable. The only real cable you see is the one that goes to the plug, but I can live with that. That's no problem. So um, I gotta go put a SD card in and then we can take a look at it. So one minute. All right, so it, it says right now SD is preparing. So I put the SD card in. Not sure what SD is, oh, there we go. If I can get it to come back on again. All right, so it's on. I don't know what it's doing. SD card is full. Well, that sucks. Let's see if we can. All right, so I'm gonna have to work with it. I did have a, uh, but there's how you do it. It's installed. I'll have a follow-up video once I get it all working and uh, tell you what I think of it. But 
right now the quality and the ease of installation was good the problem i'm having right now is with my sd card that i provided so let me get that all straightened out but anyways hopefully you uh hopefully you found this interesting um you know as always i really appreciate all the help i get from everybody by just watching giving it the thumbs up purchasing stuff through the amazon links um you know i just keep doing this and i keep enjoying it so hopefully you guys all have a great day hopefully it's as nice out where you are as it is here and uh you know it's pretty bad when you gotta run the ac in the car in february so have a great day bye just a quick follow-up i got it working um i in the menu it allows you to reformat the sd card so i did that and it's working fine again thanks for watching